Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. This is the last in our bandsaw series. Now, if you have a small home shop, you probably only have one bandsaw. And if you need to cut metal, I don't know how important the uh, feet per minute speed is, but there's a guide that came with this, and it tells you the different types of metal and what speed you have to apply and whatever. So, you have the option of going and getting a metal cutting bandsaw blade. And hopefully the speed won't be too terrible and you're able to cut metal. But there's an option. Let me show it to you. This is a uh, bandsaw blade that is dull, so no longer of any use. Are you doing upside down or like this? Talking to Jake. I'm going to take, I've gone, he's, he's done most of this. I'm going to go over to the grinder and I'm going to remove all of the teeth. And this blade is 157 inches long and actually didn't take that long to do. By the way, I'm using a CBN wheel. It's one we had custom made. It's got an 80 grit abrasive on it. And when it comes to grinding steel, it's probably four times faster than a regular wheel. Now, this blade is off of my big 24 inch Poitra. I had one for the small general. Actually, I have a blade already prepared, but you wouldn't have been able to see how we went in and prepared it. So I had to use the only uh, dull blade that I still had that hadn't thrown away. Now, most of those teeth are gone, and I think we can work with this. All right, so meet me over at the bandsaw. Okay, if you take a close look, I had to spend a little more time on the grinder. Still some remnant of teeth. But I've got just about all of them off, so all you have is just the rough texture from the wheel. And I'm going to show you how we address that. Okay, we want that on the front side. And it is. I don't need these gloves. Get that somewhere near the middle of the wheel. Wrong <laughs> way. Now, a little tighter than that. If you've never had a bandsaw blade break while you're using it, you're in for a treat. Scares the crap out of you. Now, let's see if this is running on the top of the wheel. It is, so I don't have to adjust that. Yeah, this is sitting too far back. So we'll just bring that out a little bit. Spin this. You don't have, don't have, um, don't have the set of teeth to worry about on this. Actually, I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. Lock that. Okay, let me just spin this. bottom. Move 
This one's way out of whack. If you're wondering what this is, and you missed another video, this is the uh, apparatus we made for dust collecting. Hook a vacuum hose in there, and as the blade passes through that cut in that PVC pipe, it, it uh, really does a good job of sucking up all the dust. Time to replace this though, it's been cut into so many times. Okay, now, just move this thrust bearing a little closer. Okay, now I'll close. I mentioned this before. One thing I don't like about this is that that guard is way up here. It needs to be extended. It should be sitting down here somewhere. This throat plate actually screws in place. So I'm gonna have to raise this up so I can get in there with a screwdriver. The only bands I have that the throat plate actually screws in place. It's not a bad idea. And we'll put the bolt in that lines up the tables. Okay, now I'll drop this down. There's two knobs on here and they're on the same block. One holds the gate, the uh, shield closed, and the other one locks this. I'm forever grabbing the wrong one. Now, I want to go in there and I just want to clean this up. So I'm going to use an old oil stone on the edge. This hasn't had any oil on it in a long time. You can see it's soaking up. Yeah, it's not that important. Now I'm just getting rid of any rough texture. I'm not trying to cut my oil stone in half. I don't have the dust collecting hooked up, so I don't have to worry about those sparks. And I'm moving it so that I don't wear a really bad groove in the edge of the stone. Now, I'm cutting metal, so I'm gonna wear a face shield. We'll try it with a thinner piece of steel first. I'm only putting the gloves on to keep the comments down. So no teeth. We'll try it with something a little bit thicker.
Easy. So before you throw out your old dull bandsaw blade, I don't know how thick a metal I would be. Well, actually, I don't know why it would matter. In fact, if you come over here, I'll show you the one that I typically used on my smaller bandsaw. And this is a, this, this is a special blade that we used to get and we would use them for cutting the slot in the saw handle. It's 17 thou, so it's a really thin blade. And I've used that for a long time. All the teeth were cut off and it would cut through metal just as slick as you just saw. Anyway, hope that was uh, useful to somebody. Now we're gonna do a new, we're, we're gonna do a few more machine type videos over the next few days. There's a couple things in here that I think you might benefit from, so stay tuned tomorrow. And then we've got a special one that we're gonna start perhaps on Monday. And I think you're going to really enjoy that. You'll be able to build along. See you tomorrow.